Hey, wanted to give a quick tip on the method that I use to apply borders to scalloped rim plates like this. Now I usually find that from plate to plate the scalloped edge is a little bit irregular and different uh, for each one so I can't just print off a perfectly symmetrical pattern like I do for the rest of the plates or the rest of the design. So I end up typically doing this part by hand. But I want the design on the border to still be nice and even and symmetrical like the rest of the design. So I devised this little rig to help me do that. So you can see it's just a center punch uh, kind of tied together with a regular pencil. And the nice thing about this is I can adjust how much of a border I have, how much of a gap I have between the edge of the plate and my border by just shifting the pencil down further I can increase the distance between the tip of the pencil and the side of, in this case, the center punch. And I want it to be a pretty tight border on here so I'll bring it all the way down here. And if you don't have a center punch then that's okay. Um, I just devised this uh, earlier with just a scrap of wood and whittled down the top part here into uh, kind of a tapered cone shape so you could do something like that too. The important part is just to have a flat part that you can attach a pencil to and then a tapered edge that you can slide up and down to adjust how much of a gap you want. So with that set up I just take the outside of the center punch, line that on the edge, drop the pencil till it lightly hits and then I can just draw across, turn the plate as I go, and you'll see it perfectly matches the contour of this exact plate. You want to make sure that you keep the pencil the same distance on the center punch. You don't want it to be sliding up and down or you'll be changing the thickness of this border. So you can see it's goes nice and quick, no uh, real effort on my part. Kind of just takes care of itself here. And just like that, in a few seconds, I've got a nice border that follows evenly around even an irregular shape like this. So, I hope that's helpful to you.